there, people of the internet. I just got home from work and Ariana wanted to show me something with Revlin, but she said I need the camera. Okay, bring it. Drop it. Ah, leave it. Leave it. Look at that smile. Go. Please bring it. Bring it. Drop it. Ah, that's the wrong way. She's not laughing as much as she was. Leave it. Ah, drop it. Because. She was like full on laughing. Oh, really? It's because I'm here with the camera, so I'm more of a distraction. Bring it. Bring it. Wait. Drop it. Leave it. Daisy, bring it. Drop it. You sit in and howl. Leave it. What are you doing, dude? Dude. Seriously, bro. Leave like about. Sit in. Oh. 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 Woo! Woo! Oh! Woo. <laughs> Sitson! Get <Give> loud! <laughs> oh! So I was going through the mail, and do you, I'm sure you guys know, like, you get, like, this little envelope of coupons and stuff. So we get these, like, quite often. And I hardly ever open them, I just throw them right away, but I opened it. For whatever reason. So I came across this coupon and I just thought it was very strange so the coupon is for free no obligation pre need consultation and receive complimentary pre-planning workbook and then there's another one special 0% financing up to 36 months I bet you couldn't guess what this coupon is for though this is for a cemetery this is like this just is weird. I was very taken aback by it. So we came outside for a walk. Ryan's doing his mile run today, so he's ahead of us, but she is in a big girl stroller for the first time. So we took out her infant insert for her um, car seat because she didn't need it anymore, but she needed a little more uh, room in this one, so I just added, yeah, I'm gonna put this back. So I just added the insert in <laughs> from the car seat and I just put it like back behind this. So it just kind of holds her a little better. She has really good head stabilization so she's probably fine without it, but just to be safe. And she's just so smiley. Can you smile? <gasps> yeah, you're a good girl. And she's just got little socks on because otherwise she'll kick this off if I put it past her feet. Yeah, so it's like really nice outside. So we decided to take her for a walk and put her in the stroller for the first time. Ryan will probably come back once he's done with his mile and just walk with me. Um, but he's around ahead so that he can get his mile in. And we're going over to my parents' house tonight. So, as you can see, I'm back with Ariana and Revlin. Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> so, Ariana said she told you that I went for a run ahead and I did. And it was faster than the last time, which I ran on Saturday which is good, but I did have to stop and tie my shoes, so I paused the timer and whatnot. Do any of you know of good running apps? I forget what I'm using now, but I mean, it's good, but it's one of those that you need like a subscription to use the whole thing. And I wanna do that. So if you guys have any ideas of good run tracking apps like that actually track like the map where I go and all that. It's free. Yes, that's free. Let me know because I would love it. Or if it's just like a one-time purchase. That's fine with me. I don't mind spending some money. I just don't want to spend money every single month to be able to use it. So that'd be awesome if you guys know of one. And let me know. And now I got to block the sun from her eyes. Otherwise she doesn't like it. So right, my parents, it's actually like 9.30. So we're working on the baby dedication invites for Revlin's dedication. And Sophia is here <laughs> helping us. Loki. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Can, Can I have a hug? Just hey, no, Loki. I don't want you. Hug, 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 no, okay. That's I not quite a hug. Okay. And now you just took yeah. my spot. Hug. <laughs> Loki, hugs! Why are you not hugging me? <laughs> Give me a hug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my hugs. Took long them. enough. I love them. He did it the first time, right away. I know. And look, he's just staying here hugging. Oh, he's seeing kisses too. 
Oh, I'm so loved. I'm so loved. You take it a longer hug than me. Does that make you feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're almost done. Um, you're gonna hear the train. Sorry, but there. Uh -huh. This will go in the front. Her picture, and then you open it. So, like it says, the place it'll be the church name here. Yeah. But then there'll be a separate insert that has um, the barbecue address or whatever you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's what they look like. Like this is like our last minute. We just made this up today. <laughs> okay, so we are going to end the video. It's like midnight and I'm ready to sleep. Um, yesterday's question of the day was who was your favorite school teacher or who's the most influential teacher in your life? Um, like school teacher in your life. I think I would have to say probably my fifth grade teacher, Miss Rojek. Um, I don't know, she was fun. She was one of my favorite teachers and one thing that I remember that I don't think anybody in her class would ever forget is that she always had a poster of a Porsche on her wall in the classroom and she, that was her dream, was to buy a Porsche. And before, actually, I, I don't know how long she'd been teaching there, but she'd been there for years and that's what she talked about, like, the entire time. And then... The year that I was in her class, she actually bought the Porsche. And it was just really cool to see that dream. Like, she was so on fire for her dream to get that Porsche, and then she finally got it. And it was just really neat to see that. So I'd say she was the most influential teacher in my life. So, my, the teacher that had the biggest impact on me was my 8th grade English teacher, Miss Fisher. I didn't really know that, like, like, I knew I was fairly good at writing. But in that class, we had a free writing period, and you could opt to, like, read um, your free write out loud if you wanted to. And so I had basically started a never-ending, not a never-ending story, but I basically wrote a story. And every free write, I would read, like, the next section of the story to everyone. And she is, like, one of the only teachers that said about my writing, like, she was like, if you had written that as a book, and mind you, I'm, like, 13 years old writing this, she said she would have read it. And she just was a big impact on me continuing writing, I guess you could say, and enjoying it. And she made me love English because I didn't really like English before. And then when I went into high school, English was like my favorite thing because I knew I was good at something and I wanted to get better at it. So, I don't know, she That's just neat. made me realize I was actually good at something. That's neat. Mm -hmm. You're good at a lot of things, sweetheart. Thanks. Well, speaking of teachers, I just kind of want to mention this because this is cool. But my 8th grade English teacher, I, I don't remember what her name was, but um, I found out that she was actually, her 8th grade English teacher was my great aunt, which was pretty neat to find out. I, I think I found out probably like the first week or two um, of school, but because my aunt, my great aunt moved to Peoria like years ago. Uh, but she originally was an English teacher in this area, and yeah. So my eighth grade English teacher had my great aunt as her eighth grade English teacher. I don't know, it's just really neat how that worked out. But I didn't really like that class, so I didn't do so good. <laughs> uh, okay, so today's question of the day comes from Misty Johnston. And she said, besides people or pets, what would be the first thing you would try to save in a fire? So it has to be an inanimate object. So let, make sure you let us know in the comments down below. Um, I think that's it. Did you have anything else? No. Nope. Hope you guys had a good day. If you didn't, find something to make it better. Mm-hmm. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I don't know, what do you think? Like some of this, some of this. Ooh, we can go super stripey. Hey, you don't like these options? Why don't you like these options? Because the outfit that I picked out is very nice.